Uh, I'm like a, a lot of sons. I, I thought my mother was a saint. You know, she could push my buttons like no one else, and uh, with one glance she could put me in my place, but I thought she was a saint. She died from uh, complications of Alzheimer's disease, and those of you who know that disease know that it's a little bit of a death every single day. And in the last year of her life, she was living in a nursing home for people with Alzheimer's, and I would go to visit her regularly with my dad. We would go up the elevator, and I would hear a lot of shouting out, and I would hope that it wasn't my mother, and often it was. But I remember she would shout to me often, where's your baby? Where's your baby? And my father and some people would say, well, Catherine, he's a priest. He, he doesn't have a baby. Hush, you know, hush up. But then after a while, you say, whatever, you know, you have to go with it. And so I went out and I bought a little doll and I put it in a pillow and I came up and sure enough, she would shout out, where's your baby? And I'd say, here, here's my baby, Ma. Oh, she's beautiful. What's her name? I said, oh, her name is Catherine. And she was at peace. I was thinking of uh, my mother when I was reading this gospel, Bartimaeus, you know, sitting on the side, on the side, all the time on the side, people passing him by, maybe people saying, oh, hush up, you know, don't be bothering people. Ever felt that way? You know, maybe sometimes that you were put aside or you know, you're in a hospital bed and, and people are talking around you but not to you. Maybe you're hoping for a visitor Maybe you feel a little bit pitied. Maybe you feel inadequate, maybe abandoned. Maybe you're hoping for that one person to visit. The gospel tells us Jesus passes by. And Bartimaeus shouts out. He wants to see. And Jesus says, call him. And he looks at him and he says to him, what is it that I can do for you? You know, it's the fundamental question of the spiritual life. What is it that I can do for you? What do you want? What do you really, really want? You know, when we're younger, we, I guess we want all sorts of things. You know, I used to pray, oh God, help me to, to win the swim meet. Oh God, please help me to pass this test. Oh God, please make me taller. <laughs> but it doesn't happen that way. We grow up a little bit, we suffer some losses, we make our mistakes, we love passionately, we roam around the block a few times, maybe we're on the side a little bit, and then we grow deeper and the questions are different and Jesus comes and says, what is it that you really, really want? And we're able to see with the eyes of faith and our own life experience. So maybe today Jesus is asking you that fundamental question. What is it that you really, really want? Maybe it's healing. Maybe it's integrating your life. Maybe it's forgiveness. Maybe it's hoping for your own peacefulness. Whatever it is. And when Jesus asks you that question, go deeper, deeper into your heart. What is it that you really want? Oh God, help me just to see. May we today all have new eyes. Amen.